an absolute can't miss video for those that love Crusadia Guard Dragons. This is my deck profile of my Crusadia Guard Dragon deck, which I explained in in lots of theory and in, I explained it in depth in my last video. I posted a few hours ago about the deck. Crusadia Guard Dragon is one of the most underrated decks of the game if played correctly, going first or going second, because it's an absolute different match uh, with this deck, first or second. So enjoy this video, explaining all in, in depth for you guys, uh, all the theory, everything. So hit the subscribe button, enjoy this deck profile, and it's really the only way to play Crusadia Guard Dragon. And don't change anything from the list, because it's perfection. Crusadia Guard Dragon time, baby. I love this deck, honestly, it's so good. But the normal version kind of sucks because it doesn't have this protection. Look at these nine right here. Three call blocker, three exchange, three drag down. Let me explain this now. Now this isn't your, your, going, your game one deck, by the way. This is a whole idea I have for you guys, which I'll explain it later in this video. But it's the whole idea that if you resolve your Gamma Seal play, your Wider Front play with Sayuja, your Guard Dragon play, you win. And you only need two cards to do it. So why would you not want to play all the cards in the world to stop Hand Trap to stop you from doing it? So going first, this is how the deck will look like. Obviously, it's not what you main deck. You don't main deck exchange. You don't main deck drag down, okay? This is how it looks like going first. I'll explain everything as the video goes on, so don't miss it. Going second, look at this. You All those cards are gone now. All those cards are gone. Instead, you got Gamma Seals. You got Ash, Ash Valor, Impermanence, Typhoons. I think Typhoon's so good, this format. So underrated. Especially against the hand trap, no one sees coming. And it's after siding anyways. Uh, so you can put Twisters in if you don't, need, if you don't want the Typhoons. So a deck that just amazing going second, right? So it's like such a difference going first and going second. This turns into uh, OTK through your opponent through the uh, infinite negates by uh, by the scoop way. OTK your opponent by the FTK your opponent by them scooping at your infinite negates, okay? Or OTK your opponent by literally OTKing their ass into oblivion uh, by le not letting them play and negating everything or getting rid of their back or whatever depending on the matchup, right? So that's how it looks like going first, going second. That looks like going first, and now game one, I'll talk about the actual deck choices, obviously. Game one looks like this, it's like a combination of both, right? It's a whole idea, it's a game plan, it's a whole theory, which I think most decks should start taking. It's There's no reason to think how like old school Yu-Gi-Oh! or like, uh, think of like old ideas, old theories. This is just genius thinking, in my opinion, where it's a combination of both. You're going second and going first, still have the combo going first. Still got some call by the graves and then going first. It's still not bad going second in this card, especially if it's Orcus. So again, Hydra going second. I'll explain the theory of everything. And then whether you go first, you throw all these in and go second, or these depending on the matchup. It's fantastic. Now I'll explain everything starting now. The Crusadia account, we max out everything except reinforcement of the army. As much as I would love to play reinforcement of the army, there just was literally no space. And I find if you draw one of your 15 Crusadias, you win. The only time you lose is if you don't draw one of the 15, but you're going to draw one of the 15. No doubt about that. You just need to see one. You don't need to see more than one. Because if you see one, then you just need an extender, which it could be another Crusadia, or it could be a uh, Desudo, a Terraforming, a Ravine, a Black Dragon, a White Dragon, a whatever it may be, a Reborn, a Succession, a Desudo, a Red MD. There's so many of those. There's like 33, I believe, 32 Turbo Cards. Uh, turbo Cards slash... Uh, Crusadia cards, well, extender slash Crusadia cards, and ex uh, you need to open one of the Crusadias. So, uh, 15 and Rhoda, I don't want it to get drolled, even though no one plays droll. Uh, Terraform, I know I can get drolled, but just too good not to play. I, I just have to play it because uh, it's the only way to get water from properly. You have the option to get Dragon Ravine as well. Uh, anyways, we play three Black Dragon, two White Dragon. Some people play one White Dragon, that's uh, absolutely incorrect. In fact, I want to play three White Dragon. The only time you do it, anyways, is after you Sayuja. Then, after you Sayuja, there's White and uh, there's uh, light and darks in there, so it doesn't matter. Uh, but I 1000% would rather play three white dragons than one. Don't play one. It's just so damn good of a card. If you don't draw a mini uh, dragon, uh, your turn's uh, abysmal. Uh, is that even a word? I don't know, but it's garbage, if that's what it, what I meant to say. Play, I found two fine, but I want to play three. Two's fine. One random D, one Destrudo. One Destrudo is also fine. I tested playing two Destrudo on a Foolish Burial, but there's already so many extenders, you just don't need it. I'd rather play less cards to draw... Uh, one of the Call by the Grave cards instead. Uh, two Gamma Seal. You want to play two because you play three Exchange and three Drag Down. Uh, for those that haven't seen another video I made, uh, Exchange and Drag Down are absolutely necessary in this deck. Uh, they're way better than uh, Ego Booster. They're way better than Midbreaker Field. They stops Ash, uh, stops Bell, stuff like that, whatever. A uh, Droll, whatever. It stops stuff like that that those cards can't stop. It's absolutely necessary, no doubt about it. 
Uh, it also, people have, many people are maining impermanence. It stops impermanence. Just look at a card, get rid of it. And it doesn't conflict with your deck because there's no power, power card. They all do the same shit. They just summon themselves on the field. They're all, th you play 30 gigabytes. They, 30 uh, in, in our fires. Uh, they do the same damn thing. 30 nefarious, you know, 30 crusaders. They do all do the same shit. So, uh, unless it's Red MD, which you're going to summon out ASAP, or you normal summon a Crusadia first and then do it, then you just win. So, exchange and drag down are absolutely remarkable in this deck. Uh, going first, obviously, going second. All the guys had you sign it out. Now, uh, two water friends with Terrible Man. Uh, you play Gamma Seal, like I said, in case you draw, uh, they have to get rid of if you draw one hard draw one Gamma Seal and then get rid of it with exchange or drag down. So, you want to have just in case a second. Uh, two water friends, more chance to draw the water front. Two Terrible Man, one set rotation. Going first, this leaves five water friends. Uh, game one, you side out as that rotation. Uh, one Dragon Ravine, which also leads to four turbo cards. So the only reason you can play the Strudel, honestly, is because of the Dragon Ravine. I took up Foolish because there's times where you have Foolish in the Ravine or whatever. Yeah, you could discard it, but it just, uh, you don't really need another extender. Uh, it gives you the option here of four Dragon Ravines or five Water Friends, which is great. One Reborn, two Succession. Succession is way better than the other Guard Dragon. Uh, way better than World Legacy Guard Dragon because it summons out Red MD. But it gives you another monster. I don't give a shit if you, if you can move something with the guard dragon. Guard dragon the guard dragon one sucks. Don't play it. Succession, infinity times better. Next, these nine, which are um, absolute must. If you take out these nine, this looks like a normal guard, Crusadia guard dragon list. These nine is what offers a protection and is what puts it above the other Crusadia list. There's a reason Crusadia don't top these uh, the two. Uh, they get destroyed by hand traps and stuff. Or one interruption. And one interruption, so you lose. But with these nine, you're good. You're you're golden. You're just protected. Uh, the hand traps, which now I'll show you guys going second. Okay. Now I took out uh, some of them, so I took out the three exchanges, the drag down calls. Uh, when you're going second, guarantee when you're going second, two water front and a set rotation because these you don't need going. You don't. You only need these going first. Now if you look at the list going second, you keep the gamma seals or you can put them in with twin twisters. Right? Now, if you look at this list, Impermanence, Veilers, Ashes are so good against everything going second. Even against uh, Mystic Mind. You can play Ash and Impermanence. Uh, anyways, Typhoon, Twister. Like, you got, tw like, if you're playing Miss back row decks, you got these 12, which Impermanence still puts in work. Uh, especially if you're playing, like, a stun deck, you get rid of their stun card and a, a Floodgate, right? Floodgates is what stops this, right? So it's like, uh, Impermanence could stop a Sloth or whatever it may be. Like, uh, Floodgate decks, or even if you just play back row, just have it stop back row. Uh, so you have 12 against every matchup like against pendulums you can play 15 if you want uh, which is obviously the main concern here uh against salamangre you can play uh, 12 against thunder is only one you can only play nine you can't play type one or twister against thunder you can play the other nine but it doesn't matter if you got kaiju as well it's like 11 side deck cards in there so it, it just this amazing uh synergy here because these 15 side deck cards which i'll show you these 15 these 15 side deck cards are you could almost throw them in at anything which allows you to do this whole play where you side deck half and half. This is the game one list now, where it's like a combination of both, right? Where you have the call bug, you have nine uh, hand traps, which are good against everything. And now depending on matchups, you got the back row decks, Typhoon could also be good against, uh, and destroys uh, Demion, uh, really good versus Striker, uh, really good versus uh, Mystic Mind, really good versus, uh, What's the other good deck? Work us. You stop the field spell. They only have two, they only have two fog blades now uh, on the end phase. Uh, like, yeah, like it, it, honestly, it was really, really good. And it just made it in a way where you side stuff. So, like now in game one, you don't need a second Kaiju because you're not playing, uh, ex you're not playing drag down or exchange. So you don't need the second Gamma Seal now. Uh, you don't play set rotation. Uh, so you can be a little safer. You can take out the other water front. But I guess I kept the second water front because now you have four going first. So even going first or going second, this is just like a great like middle ground. We took out the white dragon, even though it was so hard. I want to put it back in because you want to still keep at least nine hand traps going second. Uh, you don't know if you're going first or second game one. And then if you're going first, like I said, you just do this, auto win going first. Do this, auto win going second. Because now you have so many damn good cards going second. Uh, with Gamma Seals as well, like Typhoon, obviously Twisters if you want, depending on the matchup. Like even against Orcas, you can play everything here against Orcas if you want to. Uh, like just take out whatever you don't want, like, right? It's like whatever 12. If you're playing back row decks, just take out the Veiler, right? If you're playing uh, like Pendulum or Orcas, whatever, you can 
keep twisted if you want. I think Typhoon's better than Twister because fog blades are nothing. So Typhoon can get rid of that. Like it's just so damn powerful. If you guys get my drift. So that's how it's like a whole game plan here. Uh going first, going second, game one, how it's so different with Crusadia. Uh we can't just like uh do normal side deck uh, techniques. It's just a whole idea where it's like the whole game changes completely. Your whole game plan changes completely going first or going second with Crusadia with uh conjunction to the Gamma Seal play. Uh, now the extra deck, uh, one Magius is the same uh, for everything. Magius, one Spath, the one Echo Max. Only need one of each. Triple Saiyusha to ensure if you don't draw Waterfront to keep the Surgeon Three a deck, you always, 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 always get it. It's like uh, you have five options to get it to start. Then you have four, four, and four. That's twelve. That's five. That's seventeen. With uh, seventeen, you're getting it seventeen draws in your turn while getting rid of uh, all the combo cards. So more chance to draw, you're always gonna draw Waterfront. I've never once yet not drew Waterfront through Saiyuja, through three Saiyujas. Uh, for the Guard Dragon, you have one Agar Pain, one Pisty, one LP, all you need for the combo. One Heretic Seal, for you to get at the end. Uh, and then you also got a Hot Red and uh, Dragon Server going first. And then going second, you got Phoenix, Unicorn, Bro Sword. That's a deck, it's honestly so good. I wouldn't change anything right now. Uh, the only thing I would change on is to make a 45 or 50 cards, more cards in the deck. But I want to keep it shorter or smaller. Uh, add a little difference in my channel. I'm telling you, the, the higher the deck, the more variety the deck there is in the deck, the more it's assorted, the high, less of a chance you have to draw the cards you don't want to draw. I'd rather draw play. Uh, there's so many good cards you can play in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now that the higher it's going to be a thing now. And don't forget that I started this. 50 card decks are starting being a thing, 60 card decks are starting being a thing. Trust me. Uh, anyways, that's the video. I hope you guys like it. Uh, drop a like if you guys like the video and hit the subscribe button for more videos coming every single day. See you guys in the next video. Peace. That's too good, bro. Hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's videos. Peace.